We are back for another Ask Pops Block Shop video, um, number four, I think. I'm all, all, over, all over the place lately, but um, so yeah, I have some questions. I'm going to answer five of them today. Um, to start out, people are wondering how is business because of all the craziness. It's actually just fine, as far as I know. It's just right where we picked off before, picked up right before I went on vacation. Um, we left on. February 29th and came back March 12th I think um, so it was much needed and a great time so yeah sales are just as normal I don't see any drop off or any changes right now um, I would think that since people are at home and don't have much to do that they have more time to shop <laughs> but Monday need money to do that so we'll see um, yeah, so continue to ask questions. I think I only had one new question for my last video, but if you have any more, any questions upon these questions, more detailed information, just let me know. Because um, I currently have seven that I need to answer after this video. So those are the ones that I have. There's one at the top I didn't do yet. I'll get to that one next time, and then I have these. You can even read them. So... Uh, anyway, in Brick World, Wisconsin has now been moved to October 24th and 25th. Um, I canceled my hotel, other things, so everything I've took taken care of all that. Um, so at this point, with Michigan, Fort Wayne, and uh, Wisconsin, as hopefully everything goes back to normal by then, I will be doing six Brick World or three Brick Worlds in six weeks, so one every two weeks. So I don't need to stockpile yet. <laughs> um, but by that time, I'm going to really be stockpiling. And then there's a big show at the end of August in Green Bay that I did last year and sold a lot. So yeah, that'll be fun. So then we have question number one. Uh, do you ever build the sets from loose bricks for more value? Or do you just sell the parts separately from bell bottom tear? Um, if they're the oldies, most likely if they're missing a few parts, I'll most likely... Um, actually, if they're missing... 50% of the parts, I probably still would build it, if, even if it, or if it has a box, for sure build it. Um, it might go into a pile for a future build, you know, to get the, you know, when they have more time. Um, but I would definitely build an old set. Um, you know, 80s space, castle, most of those. Some of those 90s, early 90s, I probably wouldn't, but um, otherwise I part everything out. Uh, I just got a 28 set lot from Florida when I was on vacation there and from Facebook Marketplace and I'm uh, I'm gonna part out every single one of those sets all the minifigures are already taken out if you've seen my latest vlogs um, so that is what I do I want to part, part, put those pieces up on Bricklink to get more lots for sale and to drive more people into my Bricklink store um, but if it's a small set typically I might uh, just sell it whole if it's not much of a difference to sell it like some of the Mixels I noticed they part up to about three dollars I will not be parting those out I will sell them whole because <laughs> um, you can get about six seven eight dollars if th th there's some exceptions to that um, but mostly I probably wouldn't waste my time doing sets because my main thing is minifigures anyway that's what I try to get a lot of and I'm not trying to build sets uh, to get them complete again I'm trying to tear them apart so other people can buy the parts and complete their sets and so on so uh, and then question number two, for used minifigs on eBay, you don't photograph the actual item if it seems in good condition. How long does eBay store the listing details for items that are sold out? Isn't it like 60 days or something? That's from Chip H. So um, on eBay, I try to sell everything great quality. Um, so a lot of times, if I can, I will just reuse the same photos I took. And uh, it's kind of difficult because at most, I'd say 90% of what I sell on eBay has an accessory. So when I buy on BrickLink, I'm always restocking accessories and, and everything, um, as well as the minifigure. So yeah, I make sure I check everything for cracks, uh, print loss, any chew marks. I will not put it on there. Um, so sometimes I'll sell cracked torsos, but it will be in the description saying that if it's a small crack. You know, sometimes it's really small, just starting, and it's not a full crack. But it's very rare I'll do that. Um, so yeah and then for the 60 day i believe it's 60 days but i today i relisted a cat woman that sold on january 1st um from it's from the batman 2 series 
and so that would be over th over 90 days right january february no about 75 80 days 80 days ago it sold and it was still there for me to relist so but i'm pretty sure it's 60 days normally um but it could be 90 so say we'll say 60 to 90 anywhere in there <laughs> number three uh, when you buy used Lego on eBay, do you wash it before reselling? If yes, how do you do it? If no, why not? So I have never washed Lego like in bulk. I've washed in individual pieces with just, you know, baby wipes we have, you know, wet cloth, things like that. If I want to put it for sale, if it's dirty. But anytime I get something, because um, Goodwill, you will get bad things uh, every so often. If it's dirty, I'll bag it up in Ziploc bags and take it right to a flea market won't even go through it um, I'll take you know minifig stuff out that's salvageable but I just don't want to deal with it I won't put it in my pick um, build a you know pick a fill a bag of parts bin for sales um, I'll just get it out of here um, pretty much at the next market I do so um, if I ever uh, sell the bulk Lego like do a big sort um, which I'm actually rethinking it because I, I just want to get the space back and it's not the direction of my store. I, I can I see these other big stores doing the bulk, uh, you know, lose, use Lego sorting and uploading, and they're having tons of sales. But that takes manpower and hours, and I don't have that. So I may may just uh, zip, um, put it all in gallon bags and get rid of it eventually uh, throughout the year. Not buy anymore. It's just hard not to buy anymore because minifigs come with that stuff a lot. But if I were to wash it, um, yeah. I would if I were to resell it I would probably have like do that do a big use sort I would probably wash it I have a process with it um, every time I get it probably wash it right away dry it get it sorted whatever but I do not do that because I don't sell it that way right now so um, that was from Nick K if I said that and then question number four how many views do eBay items usually get from Elizabeth s um, well let's uh, let's take a look Okay, so we're on our uh, eBay page. Um, you go to My eBay Selling, then Performance Traffic is um, is where you go. And this is going to be a little bit skewed because we were closed the last two weeks. Let me just change the dates maybe. Let's do it. I was pretty much open the full February, so we'll go to 28th. I was open all these days. So... Uh, listing impressions that means that people are scrolling through eBay and it's on the screen there and then this is like how many people actually clicked on it or that seen it uh, the percentage of them and then um, so the question was how many views do the eBay items usually get now I have a high turnover rate uh, as you may know from the number of sales I have um, if you follow along so in the, so we had 693 transactions in that time frame. So that is 693 total items sold. I'm thinking that's telling me. I'd have to verify that. But uh, either way, list. So you're really looking for this listing page views. Um, this Astromech had 711. Now I never pay for additional. Um, uh, what do you call promotions? I never sponsor or promote my listings on eBay ever never have done it and I still get this amount of sales so um, they do promote them I'm sure eBay because they know that I have good stuff for sale I don't know how they how it works honestly but uh, either way so we have this at a 711 book of monsters 169 so that's very strange a lot of my listings had under a hundred views uh, but 13,000 actual page views in the month of February that people went into 13,000 total times into my listings and yeah, so I hope that answers the question. All these little graphs and a 5% sales conversion rate once they go into the listing. So 5% of these 13,842 purchased. I think that's what that's saying. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is a little look behind the scenes of eBay here. All right, and the last question we have, number five, dad question for you. When your kids want to be creative and build stuff, where do they pull bricks from? I imagine the wall of new and used trays are off limits because they are inventoried in BrickLink. Just curious, as my boys would love the parts wall from C Bad Cali. Yeah, they know the wall's off limits. <laughs> um, they know it's for sale. 
they've been part of the process building this basement like this the last two years um, so they yeah they, they're in the know of what they can and cannot do um, and honestly they're my uh, my youngest daughter is the one that builds the most down here so um, and I'll show you here we'll go through what they can actually use so you can see get an idea what they've actually built recently and what we have so as I mentioned before this and all this is all off limits this they can go through any of these bins these are just sorted by theme um, you know this is mostly Star Wars Minecraft so I'll let them build characters and use them that they know they have to bring them back when they're done so all this stuff you know this is mostly accessory things and themes food animals you know so all of this is not for sale that are in these bins you know this is my eBay stuff for sale and then go into that um, but that's mostly minifigure stuff anyway so all of this this was actually up in their room that was their old sets um, they took everything they wanted and just because they play down here a lot just says throw it in here I have, I have a drawer so I sometimes take things out of there um, and there's these parts that can go in this is overflowing that one needs to be bagged up and sold I've gone through that quite a few times for stuff and then uh, so obviously this is not my doing <laughs> I sometimes come down here there's like 12 drawers laying out here so um, somebody was there this is I, I did put this here this is something to be put away there's you know it's done something with um, oh I think that this must have been being worked on I don't remember seeing this lately that's what was going on there and this was built the other day locking up there and then this was built a few weeks before our vacation and that was a Christmas gift for me that I got so I just left that there this is a, yeah, a few weeks ago we cleaned the basement and that was the only thing we left there these two all three of these are new um, so that's pretty much it the rest over here is just my storage uh, stuff I need to do as you can tell there's some empty space there for what's going to happen this weekend since so I'm going to be parting out I'll give you a sneak peek of the next vlog yes that is a Rancor pit and then the uh, bulk problem I was talking about that I might just bag everything up there is there's three more boxes behind that stuff of that this size as well uh, not to mention like three bins of people's collections that are under the stairs <laughs> that I bought from Facebook so there is a lot so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video um, definitely ask your questions if you have any I like the questions on you know our processes I have some questions here about taxes and stuff which I've answered on um, in the comments a little bit uh, I'm really not gonna probably answer those too much you know you know I have a tax guy that, that I can ask the questions to whenever I have them I trust those answers I wouldn't trust myself to tell you things that I believe are right or wrong just um, the best uh, thing is to be honest and keep track of your expenses have records of them if that helps in any way um, I might go into some of those questions in the future uh, but right now probably not too much because um, I'm still learning some things so uh, but yeah so thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time